morning. It's bright and early on Tuesday. We filled the drying bin last night about 11 o'clock. We've got about 45 acres left, but we got to find somewhere to go with the corn. I'm either going to sell some or I'm going to move some to a bin that I've got rented, or I may do both depending on what the price does here in the next couple days. The guys are going to be here this morning to run the the drain lines in this office. Then we got to backfill this cistern. The well guys have got to hook up the water to the cistern. And the building's coming. So about, I don't know, 10 o'clock this morning, EPS is going to show up with a building package. And that's going to be a little bit unusual because all of our other buildings that PSI has built for us are Lester packages. So Lester Buildings is who they always worked with. And they switched last year to EPS. And EPS is about what every other hog building builder in the Midwest uses with a few exceptions. In my career at PSI, I sold against EPS for like 12 years. So I'm pretty good at beating them up on everything that I thought was wrong with their package. So now that I'm gonna have one, so that'll be a that'll be a little unusual, but times change and people's change, or people change and products change. And I think their product has gotten a lot better. I've got faith that it's gonna be as good, hopefully better than what I had. So that's the direction we're going. What's going on everybody? Today we're up at the building site. What else is new? I feel like all we've done in the last couple of vlogs is we've been at the building site shooting things helping out up here and we've been in the fields harvesting that's how it's been going the last couple weeks and we're almost done with harvest 2020 we got about 50 acres left and we're probably going to be good on harvest for a while we'll we'll end harvest next week because we're having family come down this week from texas so we're going to spend some good quality time with the family and wait to finish up harvest until then but the work up here isn't going to stop so we're going to shoot as much as we can up here and right now all the building supplies for the carpenters has just showed up and as far as what's on these trucks for the carpenters it's pretty much everything they need so they have the steel for the roof right here they have the whiteboard that they're going to use inside the building they have the studs they're not going to bring the trusses today because they bring those separate but they're bringing everything else required for the carpenters urban's been working real hard up here taking out this all the dirt piles as you can see there was a dirt pile here yesterday and now there's not so he's going to be working on this dirt pile here and he's backfilling the south side and he does a damn good job he's been doing it forever he's backfilled a couple of these in his lifetime so he knows what he's doing We got our sister top today. Our concrete guy's gonna come back and he's gonna pour a four inch cap on the top of it so it doesn't leak. But I wanted to show you, we gotta fill this kind of by hand with the skid loader because you can't really get back here with the dozer. We put tile all the way around this cistern because when this building's done, there is gonna be a lot of water coming off that roof and it's gonna come down right in here. And if you don't have good drainage, as amazing as it sounds, if that cistern isn't clear full of water, it can pop that thing up like a bathtub. So that's why we got tile around it, and hopefully it'll be full of water all the time and that won't be an issue. But anyway, that's one of the things you got to think about when you do something like this. Dad doesn't do very well just sitting still. He had to get in on the action and help back. Build. If you want to make a farm kid happy, just give him a lot of dirt and something to move it with and he'll be like a kid in a candy store that's how dad is right now hey sorry to interrupt you guys but in this next segment you're about to watch a lot of my footage was ruined because of the wind that was happening up at the building site this day my audio is completely shot and it doesn't sound very good 
But all you really need to know is that the concrete guys came back to finish up concrete for this building. What they came back and poured was the office floor, the top of the cistern to top it off, the loading dock right outside of the office where the trucks will unload and load pigs, the LP tanks pads, and the generator pad. I'm trying my best to scrounge up the footage to make it look and sound good, but I'm kind of limited on what I can do here. So bear with me. I really appreciate your guys' support, and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Thank you. What are you doing? One thing that Duke did while he was here today is he got onto the pads that they were pouring. When they just got done pouring the bin pads, Dummy here walked on them, and they had to patch it up. Pro tip, try not to bring your dog on a construction site when they're pouring concrete. I'm trying to keep an eye on them. I have to babysit the dog up here because if I don't bring him up here, he just whines. He gets all mad that we don't bring him. So I'm going to put him in the car and see if he'll get in. Hey, come here. Get in there. Good boy. You stay. You stay in there. Behind me is a living legend. Dennis Dua, concrete man extraordinaire, purveyor of wisdom from around the world, free advice giver, and most importantly, he is a living unicorn because he's the only man I know that has four different streams of income. He pours concrete, he has a fur business, he farms, and he raises cattle, and he makes no money at any of them. It, it's amazing. Or that's what he says. Now, it has been verified. Somehow, he's made to stay in business for like 30 years, but yet he's never made a dollar doing any of these trades. And if Dennis Dua was Donald Trump's tax advisor, I can guarantee it he wouldn't have paid $750 in taxes. He would have paid zero. One thing about concrete, it is hard work, but somebody's got to do it. And I fear that as my generation gets older, there's not going to be very many guys like that. Hell, there's not very many guys like that today. So I can't imagine what it'll be like when I'm a grown up. So if any of you young hustlers out there that want to get into blue collar work, construction, concrete, Everybody needs somebody to pour concrete somewhere. So those blue collar jobs, there's gonna be less and less people willing to do them. So if you're somebody that's willing to do it, you're gonna make big money, big money. Well, they got everything poured that they wanted to today. Now they're just setting forms for the LP tank pad that they're gonna pour tomorrow. But office floors poured, top of the cisterns poured, and the dock out front of the office is poured. Everything is coming along nicely. One more day of concrete and we'll be done. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow.